Hello, this is LP. Uh, for this capture, I'm helping you with the uh, a basic command in Linux. Uh, so that I um, show the current folder, current location, it's ls -DSL. And you may wonder what is ls. You start with the menu, which is the main, which is called our a ls um, menu. So you can type M uh, main space ls dsl then you go to the menu page of the ls command so example I'm looking for option L so the slash dash L dash L so it come down to option L for me but not there so I got this way quicker for now dash L long k okay, L there we go so that is long I use use a long listing format or I may go for option maybe H, so you can see the hash there. Uh, hash is, should be somewhere. Has the human readable format. Okay, so I got the try that two format now. By the way, when you go in the main command, you have the top the letter Q. Okay, Q for quick. So um, and try it again. L S dash L enter. So basically, you see the log file there. You see log file. There's some sign there, but you do not know what it is. So this time, I use the option H for human readable format. So one kilobyte there. What about that kilobyte? So what we just done is SL and LS main command. So if you want to know any command in Linux that you wish to uh, search for, start with the main command. Okay, main, and then type any command. Or example, you may type uh, ls, um, ls, and then go for um, dms. Example, uh, dms. Okay. Then this command show you print or control the kernel, print kernel buffer, whatever that. So I'll show you how to use the dms later. But that how to find the menu of a command in Linux. Okay. Tap Q to get out of that. All right. So now you know how to get around with the um, Linux command basic. So again, I just start again that uh, we in uh, a terminal. Uh, this is CentOS that I'm using. Or to similarly, if you are in CentOS, in Kali, you may do the same thing, which is, um, sorry, I put the wrong password. Or your you, Ubuntu, pretty much the same. So you, you pretty much do the same thing. It's just Linux anyway. So in here you got the same way. Okay, now I go back to CentOS here. I'm stuck with CentOS for this particular capture. A clear example. If you don't know what it clear, you can just go clear, and then it's telling you what it is. Okay, you go and it telling you what it is. All right, next one is the example of DMS. Uh, DMS it help you a little bit, and if you put the USB in, and then you need to go with the DMS command, it will tell you what it is, and it tell you right there. Or DMS, you go with the uh, get some example SD, and then it tells you anything to do with SDA. Example SDA, whatever that what is SD. Okay, so that's how you run the basic command in Linux. So the first command, and then pi, spy pi, and the second set of command. If the first command success, I succeed, and then second command go to that, go to run. If not, then don't bother. Okay, the next basic command that is uh, df dash h, and if you don't know what the option dash h, and you can find out df main df, then that's telling you it is a report of our system and display whatever in Linux. So dash h, you can see the dash h there. again human readable format. Uh, I, I got example, I got df, and you want to reward it block. Yes, one block is one kilobyte. Yes, that's right. Uh, then it's just really hard, right, to read. But you got to put human readable format. It would see a little bit better. All right, that's df. Again, that's df. That hash. Our uh, next one is uh, the basic command about your current memory. Example: dash m. Current memory. That's a current memory in your Linux. Uh, what else? Um, or example, who logging at the moment? Tap W. And if someone logging from remote, then you would see that uh, who logging from remote. Okay. 
Um, next couple of comments, I uh, going to pin uh, that C count two times to symbol one, which is for uh, yahoo.com, right? There we go, one, two times. So that I just done two times, count two. And you're wondering, because in window, you don't have to put any option, it got by default for four times for pin uh, packet, but in Linux you have to put the option in, otherwise it go forever. All right, um, so there we go. So next basic command is I got to make a file, yeah? I got to make a symbol file, then show you how to do an example. I'm going to make a nano file and then say uh, data.txt. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's seven lines. Then save them. Uh, control O, then write out. Control O. Oop. Uh, control Command O. That's in Mac. I'm used. And then get out here. Control Exit. Now I this has again. Then I have a new file, which is just create a brand new one. Data June twenty fifth. There we go. So now I'm going to a couple more command. Um, and then we finish this clip, yeah. Uh, so SL Nano, and so basically if you want to see the file again, you can see it can and then do Nano. So there are a couple of files. So what if there is a, a the, the file, uh, the file that, that have a hundred lights, for example, but you want to see a first two, so how to do that. So in here, you got to do maybe do a head one and then dash two and then go for uh, data. So we show you number one and number two only, which is first two lines of the data. There we go. Or you can go for um, the bottom three of that head file. So you can go for the bottom three and then you go for tell. Tell. So that will be this with this command, we show you five, six, seven. There we go. So that's the basic one. So the last final command would be a, a directory creation, but normally you can do that in in a, the GUI mode, which is a lot easier. But by the way, by the chance I do that a quick way for you. So making directory mkdir uh, example say script script yeah, and then that what I'm making a directory called script. So now you have a directory called script. So that script is, should be here, there. If the date creates now, it is a bit late right now. So a script team name, and then if you want to go to that folder at the moment, pwd, if you don't know what a pwd, again, you got to go main pwd, okay? So that's it, what is pwd, okay? Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going inside my folder I just created, then cd space and the folder name, and then I check where I am now. I'm in root and then uh, folder. So you can make a you can make a new you know new script from here. Example, you do a bash whatever there. Uh, say make a new folder right and make a new file called bash. Uh, welcome, welcome, and then save that into a new file name called uh, symbol one dot um, dot bash for example dot data. Or txt, txt. Then you sl sl. You would have the new folder right there. There we go. A new file created. So you want to see that file again? Uh, sorry, uh, cat and then uh, symbol. There we go. Welcome. So there we go. How to create a folder, a file, a uh, player with your Linux. And many, the most important, you you may find out how long your machine is up. Uh, how long this Linux machine up? You can check as how many day, how many minutes is up, or you can shut down or reboot machine using reboot machine, right? That's a reboot. So now I have the virtual machine level reboot. I go to another one and use this one for my next example, which is you can use uh, shut down. It's just the same thing, Kali, right? Shut down and hash now. So that's another command in Linux when you finish and you wish to copy your virtual machine to another uh, another virtual machine bring from one computer to another virtual machine environment so you got to shut down properly before you copy the folder to 
another i mean the, the your linear to another computer all right so now i shut it down so as your example so that's it some basic linux command so good luck bye for now